Hey guys, Monday morning. Welcome to another Britlane vlog. Um, yeah, it's about twenty past seven, half past seven. It's time we normally sat off, so Dean picks us up. But yeah, so I get to sat normally about half eight, quarter past half past eight normally. So yeah, you know when you see me working well five ish with an hour snap we have, you know that's like eight hour. Eight and a half hour max I'm doing a day, so I probably do a lot less hours than you think I do. Just get up to work quite late. But yeah, I might start getting there earlier maybe if we get to a job closer home, but I'm happy with what I get done with the hours we do. So yeah. Anyway guys, I'll um see you in the next clip. So we're back again. We're back here, where we left off. Two weeks ago. Over two weeks ago now. Uh, but yeah, check it out and I'll show you what we're doing today. So we're back here. Um, yeah, back on this. This is where we left off last time. There's some frames arrived now. So we can put the uh, frames in on this. Um, obviously that's just a built-in door frame. That's normal. That needs to come off because it's a normal brick. So I've got an handsaw, so I'll cut that off. Cut that little half out. It's full, it's no no headers on the back, I keep forgetting. So, uh, yeah, everything's loaded on this plot. You know, it wasn't in vain that we loaded all this crap out. Um, but yeah, finish this off. We've got, I'm gonna put the door frame in here, clamp it on, put a block up to there, get that nice and sturdy. Then I'll finish the brickwork up on the back to full height, and then we'll attack the front brickwork. I'll probably put that little front nib in as well. So I'll nick that door frame from there, put it there. That bit of front brick where I'm running, so a bit of a steady day for when we're coming back. No big uh, no big you know, no big meterage going in today, but you know, uh, yeah, we're back building. Finally. Back on the old sopas. But yeah, alright, see you in a bit. Right, it's twenty past ten, I haven't done much. But I'm all set up finally, I've got all the tools out of van. Etc. I told you a little bit maybe the brickwork that went wrong. Uh, yeah, so I'll show you what I've done. So, some frames have finally arrived. So, it's just two of that little bit of brickwork out there. That was out of plumb anyway. I'd obviously not checked the frame. Uh, and now we've got a proper framing that fits nice. That'll all be nicely bonded. Uh, nice perps in that. I'm just going to build this back up. This back wall's so slightly wrong as well. And I forgot my fire socks. So I shoved that in. Change this bit of block work here, and we're going to build all this up now. We're going to do the whole back. So I've literally back this, back this brickwork up to like six course. This block work six course, then do brick. So yeah, see you in a bit. We'll go for a snap at about half twelve, one ish. So yeah, that's what we've done so far. Check it out. Yeah, we just got this little bit bit of back block work up. Fuck all really, but we're fucking about getting getting a Z round it again. So yeah, well, uh, it's raining now, but. Won't be too warm as hell, so yeah. See you next clip. So yeah, I can't really see too well because the sun's absolutely blasting me. Yeah, that's what we got done. Uh, all backs up. Leave a few racks from the top, just makes it easier. Uh, with window frames and whatnot, get them set nicer. Next lift. So, yeah, all that brick works up to full. Uh, block works up to flight, and uh, yeah, we're gonna start on the front brickwork tomorrow. I might shove a door frame up that front. Build that front little peak as well, front little pillar, block pillar as well, six course, and then oh, here we go. Um, my goal tomorrow is get the front up. I guess medcam on tomorrow. We build it front, so yeah. Get front up in a day. I'll be fucking. I'll be back on, back on track again. Right. See you next clip. And these are my new stands, bins, centre a piece uh, off eBay, six hundred i. But yeah, check it out. Stackable. Uh, easy, I ain't gonna make any stands me send that flimsy as fuck, so yeah, see you in the next clip. Hey guys, it's Tuesday and we're back on the front of the plot now. And we're getting somewhere today finally, feeling a bit more normal. So yeah, check it out. So on this little fiddly pillar with three quarters. They said originally that we could change it to brick, but I couldn't be bothered. So we've cut all the three quarters. Uh, three per course. It's got a three quarter on the internal anyway, like seems always there's a three quarter on that internal. And then 
down that front there. Yeah, I'll get some head camera, I'll see you in the next one. So it's a half three quarter on that side, Dean. Half, yeah. Three quarter. Half, yeah. Half, yeah. Not up, no. yeah it's a three, that's a three quarter, dude. That's a three quarter. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's just a big. It's that just, yeah, it's always three quarter, three quarter. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Sorry, it's all right. Yeah, it just looks very, it's very big three quarter. No, no, it's sorry. I'm about to fucking clarify what I'm. Yeah. If there's ever a three quarter end, there'll be one next to the half. That's a rule of thumb, you know what I mean? Right, on the uh It's good though this when you take a brick off you can just put a brick back down. It doesn't even go dry does it? No. Dance around like I'm bigger than Bill.
It's not some fucking charcoal barbecue. Yeah. It smells new, doesn't it? That's right, I can bigger than Bill. Yeah, line up, bro. Sound. Sand. Oh, man. I ever get you to magic. Oh, it's fucking plumbed in. Plumbed in. Sound. Move line up for you, 216. It's a bit creamy this morning, that gobble. It's gone a bit stiff, hasn't it? It's a bit stiffer than this morning, that gobble, isn't it? It's alright, though. Tiny mate, tiny beds on these, like a little slug, a little mini slug between brick. Mine have felt tight all the way up. Mine have felt tight all the way up. Yeah, it's, I don't know why, bricks might be a little bit thicker, you know what I mean? Bricks might be a little thinner, you're fine, that's why I like this little trowel, you don't need to put as much gobbo down, you know, between them. Full break, full break. Three quarter full in here. Yeah. Three quarter half. That's it. That's that. No, they're fucking bang on. Like when it's warm, these are meant to lay really. You know what I mean? I'd probably rather lay these than a normal brick. It's getting to the swing of them. Probably easier, a bit more forgiving to learn with.
Well, all them three quarters do you? And them, oh. oh no, sorry, I just need a lot of these. Only a few. I shove them at the back of this pillar. <laughs> Big, 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 Yeah, just pop a hat full and a half on there, do you? Just put a full brick and a half on that, onto that bit, yeah. Uh, looking for my brick hammer, actually. Had it round here somewhere. There we go. Cut a few halves anyway for this corner. Just a couple of hairs and a half for you. Uh, I need uh, how many cores? Six.
What do you say, Dean? Ah, oh, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, 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 bro. Two sixteen, I'll move line up for you. One forty fives for this window. Hey guys, Harry here, back again, finally with another Britlane vlog. This is voiceover part of the video, so if you stuck around this this many minutes, uh, you know, thank you very much. Thank you very much for your time, as always. You know how uh, much I appreciate it, uh, supporting the channel. Um, so yeah, we're back finally. I've been, uh, I haven't been on Aldi or anything. I got I've got a comment or two asking where I've been. Um, I was on another site. I was on a Barrett site doing some day work. You know, rectifying a plot that was built incorrectly. Um, just day work, basically. Uh, I don't like filming anything day work related, you know. Price, you know, price work where I'm, you know, building fresh builds. You know, my own work. Showcasing my own work. I only like to do that on the channel. You know, uh, I'm not one for highlighting fuck-ups. You know, there is channels out there. I'm not going to name any. Snagging channels, uh, particularly who make their living off, you know, picking fault with the people's work. But anything you look hard enough at, you can pick fault with. So, I, you know, I don't agree with it. You know, it's uh, you don't know the situation anything was built in. You don't know, you know, the experience or whatnot of the bricklayers who built anything or, or other tradesmen like highlighted on some of these snagging channels. I've done a, a video on them before, you know, so I don't like it. I don't like, you know, to like to uh you know highlight the misfortune of other bricklayers skill or other tradesmen's skill to elevate my channel in any way uh, i always see it in the comments this brickwork was shocking this was wank um you know i keep that to myself i come across it and i get over the problems as i get to them and normally i'm compensated you know you know well for them so i don't like to highlight other people's fuck ups i like to try and you know you know bring people uh you know, pick people up, that's why I'm supportive of all channels, you know, whether they're new, old, big fan at the moment, um, of the Patterson construction, you know, the, uh, New, uh, Newcastle Geordie lad, I don't know the actual terminology, but, you know, from, uh, down that way on, the Durham area, uh, like his channel, with, uh, him laying the sopas also on the persimmon sites, uh, I'm a big fan of his channel to be honest at the moment. It's just something different, you know. Guys laying the concrete bricks, he says he prefers them, which years ago, uh, six, seven years ago, uh, when I was on Keep Mount back in the day. Um, not really back in the day early, is it? But back when the prices were like 350 a thou, which I'm getting double now, I'm getting 700 a thou at the moment. We used to love these fucking concrete bricks because you could chuck them up, they're uniform. And, obviously, the standards, if any bricklayer knows, um, you know, when the recession was on and there was less people people getting out of the trade, you know, there, you know, it was a bit more lenient. I felt, I felt the standards were a bit more lenient years ago. And as the prices have got better and as house prices, house prices have gone up and as people are more critical with social media, etc., on, on the, in the construction industry, because in the past, so much, in the past, you know, <sighs> fucking five six seven eight years ago the construction there was no content for the construction industry on youtube etc on the social media on the internet really there was just none out there so you know it's quite underground you know really the, you know people who weren't in the trade didn't know and 
customers were none the wiser but whereas customers these days are getting wiser the standards are increasing and it all gets more difficult you know for new bricklayers so we used to love these concrete bricks years ago to just chuck them up you can't you can't i've always said about these concrete bricks you can't really make a bad job of them as long as you take a bit of extra time pointing i got pulled up from my pointing years ago not topping and tailing these and laying them wet and uh <laughs> You know, we used to chuck them up because people weren't wandering around, you know, managers weren't wandering around with six foot levels years ago, um, you know, checking up on your work, you know, they just wanted the houses building. So, you know, you could get away with a bit of your brick leaning, you know, you know, up to a point, but now, you know, you have to be dead on it and, uh, you know, it's, depending on the site, you know, this site I'm on is fucking, you know, it's bang on. Can't fault these, these glee snaps, can't go, fault the site, you know, everything's, uh, you know, you know, management just seemed to want the houses up and, and to a good standard. And, you know, if you're good, you know, judge you by your work, not by your character, which, you know, is very, very rare in this day and age. You know, there's a lot of sites I go on. Some people can take an instant dislike to you and uh, regardless of your work standard or, you know, what, what not. But, you know, it's just finding a happy balance and finding the right site and you, everyone you can gel with. And that's the most important thing, and it might not always be close to home. This is like a 40, about 55 minute drive from where I live, this site. But it's the fucking one I like going to. And you know, when you're spending 50 hours a week, if you're doing a Saturday, um, you know, or you're getting there eight right early, like most, most gangs do. Um, if you're spending 50 hours out of the house a week, 40, 40, 50 hours out of the house a week, you want to be going somewhere you, you know you like and everyone you get on with. So it's important finding a good site. Um... But yeah, as you can see here, I'm just banging in these little headers. These are the fucking extent of the Gleason uh, detail, which is fantastic for us on price. Uh, the nice snap headers. I live in a Gleason house myself. This house, I'm, this plot I'm currently building is the same plot type as I live in, except mine is semi instead of detached. Um, you know, uh, if I'd have, you know, had more time to uh, get an house and not gone backwards away about it having a kid first and then getting an house that have probably got detached but you know uh this this house type is quite easy to build really you know i've not found any difficult really on this gleason um just a nice nice build i like that everything's brick and block even the gables and stuff like that none of these spandle panels or hip roofs i always found hip roofs a bit more of a faff you know we're getting making sure panites were right and whatnot i like gables i find, I find them just like a straight wall so I like the way the old school vibe of these sites and uh, this particular site has very less, you know, a lot less detail than the some of the other Gleason ones which have contrasting bricks and coin coins up the uh, up the corners but uh, nevertheless nevertheless the um houses uh houses even with that detail are very simple nevertheless you know and uh, I would have thought you'd have been the prices would have been compensated a little bit extra uh, for the for those contrasting differences, but you know uh, these on the particular site are quite plain, quite easy to build, and um, yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it on here, but um, I'm being, I'm glad to be back. As you can see, um, well, obviously I'm showing you sort of all aspects today. You know, me setting the windows out. Um, getting the frames in we were lacking a few frames for this plot just the big one mainly uh, but i've had to scrounge around for extra frames so I, i've just been making do with what i had um also you can see here i'm just plonking a little temporary brick i fill these in later with, with commons but temporary little prop for the frame nothing wrong with it you know i always like to do this uh, especially these little windows on these plots dead easy um uh you know uh and uh just something to sit the frame in. And uh, what we're going to say now, I'm using this uh, seven inch trowel, you know, the towel setter, you know, um, the, the, the Collison trowel, what he uh, popularized years, uh, you know, years ago with his uh, Can You Lay a Thousand Bricks a Day video. I watched that one. I was completely amazed at the time and fucking still amazed because I don't know how people, how you managed to lay him that many bricks. But, you know, we're plugging away, plugging away. Well, we might hit that thousand brick PB, uh, you know, breakers nine. Rakers 950 I did, probably over a year ago now, so um, I'll get there at some point, just got to uh, get the right amount of sleep, <laughs> Archer needs to sleep, my son, and uh, you know, get the right runs, you know, uh, but yeah, so I'm plunking the frame in here, nice easy, with the frames that are in check, 
uh, not in check, should I say. So, you know, you can just... A lot of the time, if you know, if you build your block work, you know, pull it down from your brick and make sure it's bang on, you know, you can build your block first to it and your frame should sit pretty much within 5, 10 mil of the right measurement. But you don't always got to sweat it, you know, and all I say in my videos, you know, don't sweat the small stuff, just don't sweat if your cavity is 5 mil big, don't sweat if you, you, you know, your wind is 5 mil to the right, 5 mil to the left. Make it work your brick make it work bricks or make it work a good three quarter if it's gotta work a three quarter like a lot of these do on the gleasing jobs that I'm I've been on for the past uh, few months. You know, don't sweat it too much, just make a nice neat job of your face work and cavity maintenance, etc. Uh with the air with the um with the bricks over over the uh air bricks, you know, the damp tray over the air bricks. I used to just leave one out, but on the last plot it took a took us an extra few hours than it should have to clean those because i didn't clean them periodically and i didn't leave enough bricks out so now i'll leave uh two bricks out at the bottom i don't put my wee poles in i just take the bricks out it's a lot easier on these conny bricks anyway because they don't go off and they're easier to remove afterwards and sometimes the brick above them drops off so there's like three bricks out as opposed to two that i used to just try and smash out but it keeps your tray a lot cleaner and um you can even just let your ha your damp tray hang on the you just pass them first two course and it stops the goro building up in the actual tray and adhering to the to the damp so little bit of you know cavity maintenance tips because it's all saves you time you know i spent six hours get doing a superstructure inspection on here because this is like a sort of old school site where everyone does their own patching everyone does their own uh inspections you know everyone gets plots ready for inspection you don't have any snaggers or remedial uh, improvers doing any work on your plots so um you're pretty much you know everyone does their own patching so it's um you got to make sure you don't leave any because you want that patching money that patching money is normally 100 quid internal 100 quid external um and uh and you know you want to you know you want a couple hours work max on that to make you know some money out of your patching you know make sure you've not left any and then you've got an extra bit of cash bit of bonus there also, with your, you know, obviously with your supers, make sure it don't get any pulls, and you get a, normally get a bonus on most sites now for getting no pulls on your super. Uh, my last plot didn't get any pulls. Uh, I don't know if I man if I managed to mention that, but yeah, it were pull free, so those six hours weren't completely wasted time. Um, so is what it is. You got to make sure you do a good job, and you know, and, you know that's the thing. Uh, but yeah, so. Hope everyone's enjoying the content again. I'm glad to be making it, making videos. It gets boring not recording at work. I like doing the YouTube, I like the editing part and everything. And um, another guy as well. I've shout out another guy who you know uh, who I've been watching like sort of pretty much religiously because um, that's what I do in my spare time. I watch bricklaying videos, bit of gaming, bit of you know Netflix etc. But mainly I get in and I watch whoever's on. Uh, I don't I don't watch Changi as much now after he slagged me off for no reason. Gets offended easily, that lad. But um a uh but yeah, I've no which I watch Collison and Adam Hatch, a guy I've been watching for a while, I like his videos, uh, another southern bloke, another southerner. Um doing his uh doing his own doing his own little work on some of uh bit of like semi commercial looking uh brick work with the with the, some of Saffage Blues it looks like doing some right fancy detail there. I've been enjoying watching his videos and uh obviously watching Andy at Brick Lane Worldwide as well. Like, I enjoy his videos and that and trick his live and only tune into every every so often when I'm having a beer. But um yeah I've watched I watched quite a lot of challenge channels, Collison and him sleeping on job and whatnot, you know. Fucking loving it that lad. Absolutely fucking loving it. Wish I had the energy, but fucking kids, kids took it out of me. But yeah, it's, um, yeah, I'm enjoying a lot of their content on YouTube now. It's getting better and better. Uh, Matt from Brick Lane Fundamentals also watch him, you know, from time to time when he uploads. He, he has some really good tips, actually. You watch his pick and vip videos, he's fucking bang on. And as a, he's got a mate doing the spec mix who's fucking absolutely monster at the pick and dip also. Um recommend him as well to watch uh the few others a few others probably haven't mentioned but uh steve and alex watch them periodically as well um a lot more you know sort of private you know more project work as well not just not just specifically brick work just you know all aspects sometimes all aspects um but yeah um 
Yeah, that's what I've been watching. That's what that's what I've been up to. So, um, I'm gonna speed this speed this footage up. Maybe bang a bit of music on. Um, there's a little clip of me knocking the gear up. I always like. There's one thing that I'm. Dean's getting good at it now. He knocks the gear up pretty good, but I forgot a spare moment. I try and make the gear. How I want it. Always get the gobbo in on the morning and stuff. You know, I like a little little five minute break, ten minute break while I go get the uh, mortar. Uh, that's one thing, you know, that we, you know, as a one on one and years of working on one on one solo, uh, two gang, you know, what, uh, how I've been working, uh, you know, it's one thing I like to do is make sure the mortar's right. A lot of guys make the mistake of letting the apprentice or letting the labourer get the mortar and then complain when it's wrong, it slows you down because mortar being wrong can be a massive fucking, it can slow you down hundreds of bricks per day. So I'd rather, you know, take an extra. 10 15 20 minutes a day getting a couple of tubs out correctly and it you know allow me to lay an extra two three hundred brick potentially you know unless some you know because especially in winter it's 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 uh it's a must in winter you get in the own gobble you know in summer you can get away with it being a bit wet or sometimes if it's a bit stiff you can just knock it up but you know you normally want to uh try and you know limit the amount of uh things that can go wrong in a, in a day and, uh, you know, same with loading up. I like to set the stacks out for Dean, you know, um, just because I don't want him to put them in the wrong place. I want him how I want them. And uh, it just makes my life easier as well as his. So, yeah, I'm going to come off, put a bit of music on. Um, it's getting late now anyway. It's like, what time is it when I'm recording? 20 to 11. So I'm going to get off now and uh, watch, a bit of, watch a bit of YouTube because I'm catch up. And, uh, yeah, I'll probably not record tomorrow. We've got like a pretty short day left on this plot you know probably half a day a bit more than half a day and then hopefully we'll get loaded up if the joiners are out as well not of the plot uh, not of the band lift and uh crack on with that so i'll probably your next footage you're gonna see is me on a band lift probably um the one i did ages ago that plot right so we took over a plot it's a plot we share with another brick layer uh him and his brother periodically have time off so he's on his own so we end up getting shoved with him uh but yeah i'll be uh I'll be on that plot and doing most of that. So yeah, I'll uh, I'm uh, easing my way back in, back to price after two weeks on day work, head scratching. So um, slowly picking some speed up. Got about four hundred bricks laid down today with this little trial. So you know we'll start earning some money in the next few days and you know be back to usual. So yeah, thanks a lot for uh, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed the videos and uh, I'll be, I'll be back with my two videos a week at least and uh, maybe a garage vlog if I'm feeling up to it. Anyway guys, thanks all for watching, appreciate it, like, comment, subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell to keep up to date with the weekly episodes. See you later. Hold me close till I get up, time is barely on our side. We're chasing, leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah No, I don't want to waste what's left And on and on We'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on
Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on So yeah, we had it's five o'clock now. We had a pretty steady-ish day, but yeah, I did a bit more than yesterday. I'm getting back into it slowly. Uh, yeah, check it out. So we got that front up. Uh, it's got a little window on the side, that little pillar. So that's all up to our right. This front two corners in. So tomorrow we've just got three quarters of block, both sides, a little bit in the middle, and then three quarters of block on that garage. Dead easy Monday, and then uh, dead easy day tomorrow. And then we'll be up there on that one that we did ages ago. So yeah, right, see you in the next video.